Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So let's jump into it because Mel's baby mama just don't stop. We can't get a break. He's always attacking any and everyone that doesn't agree with him. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. In case you guys been living under a rock, Mel's baby mama did an interview with Tasha K where he literally just lied and he was doing his best to try to make Mel look bad, but in my opinion, it backfired. Tasha K was supposed to release a part three. However, in the part one, she ended up doxing Mel and showcasing a lot of her personal information. Mel's manager, Don, Miss Dunn responded to that via Instagram and they reposted it or by they I mean a blog on Instagram I'm not sure if it was neighborhood talk OMFG reality TV or shade room but Miss Dunn Mel's manager responded to everyone sending her the receipts of Mel's baby mama doxing her or what Tasha K posted on her website I'm assuming Mel's baby mama got mad at that response because narcissists hate when other people protect their victims. So he lashed out at Ms. Dunn. A lot of you guys seem to be under the impression that this is Slarion responding back, but here's what it reads. Martel responded to Ms. Dunn and he says, all you delusional MFers, keep believing her if you want. As her ex-husband who wasn't married to you, you're the motherfucking help. He then says, we didn't know you then. You and the little makeup girl ain't nothing but her puppets. We went to court for that and the judge dismissed that shit quick. He said, tell her to show to you the paperwork she loves to quote so much. How the abuser gonna have videos? I have plenty more videos too. Stay tuned. Enjoy your night. Hashtag linebacker. It's really a joke because he doesn't understand how delusional and stupid he really is. He thinks that by recording Mel reacting to him is some way exposing her to be an abuser as if there aren't intelligent people in the world that understands what reactive abuse is, which is what many of us saw from the videos that Tasha K claimed to release that was supposed to be exposing Mel. Mel's baby mama is doing his hardest to try to expose Mel and make her look bad. And True T pointed something out in her video that she recently uploaded that I didn't really pay any attention to until she said it. But she said Mel's baby mama, in her opinion, is trying to set Mel up so he can do bodily harm to her. And of course she didn't say it in that way, but in lamest terms. And I absolutely agree because in one part of the interview, he was basically trying to say that Mel was trying to harm him. And the way that he was trying to set her up in the text messages, in my opinion, would be an example of a narcissist trying to set you up or put you in a position to where he would be justified for doing harm onto you. Because at one point there was a text message and we can break down reactive abuse if you guys would want to. But at one point there was a text message of Mel's baby mama basically saying, oh, you tried to ill me. You tried to run up on me with a knife etc and you know Mel's baby mama is an idiot so in my opinion he thought he was smart enough to set her up or get her to admit to something and really Mel just let it be known because you're abusive but we can break that down in a different video that's not the point of this video but one more thing I want to add to that I thought it was interesting how he immediately thought to go and get a pow pow when it came to dealing with confrontations amongst his wife rather than being a man and knowing how to de-escalate a situation 
Why? Because he was the one that initiated all of the conflict. And in my opinion, it was to set her up. He want to be able to have a reason to hurt Mel, in my opinion. And his behavior is very telling and vindictive. Miss Don Mel's manager replied to him and said, help question mark. You need help and you've got the right wrong one. She then says, it looks like you're the one who been the help as I've been with her on plenty of occasions when people you owed a bag to were calling her to get their money or they were filing charges on you and who other than myself convinced your wife to go ahead and cover for you and it was no small change for real for real I got your help on the way she then says I'm the mf -er doing in well I don't know what she's trying to say but she spelled out d-o-y-e-n in the game who brings nothing but bags to the table for all my clients don't get it twisted martel i was the one on the phone with melody not only this day but a slew of other days when your manipulative self was throwing tantrums and you didn't know it and it's covered up right there but it says have the exact day this happened this next part is kind of blurry. I had to get this from Chit Chat. But she finishes off by saying, thereby you'll always operate from the lowest vibration and frequencies. We've had plenty of talks with you at your own house on quite a few occasions when we were just trying to get you and Mel to stay together. But it appears you've remained with your own agenda. She then says, now let me get back to gathering receipts for all this rigmarole. This linebacker says, ready to play ball. I'm definitely not the one. So there was more to this, but this is just the parts that I was able to get. And I believe Ms. Dunn is the right one. I'm not really sure why he was calling Ms. Dunn a linebacker. I got a chance to meet Ms. Dunn. Ms. Dunn is very small, slim, petite. But the only thing surface level mind Martell can do is come for someone's look because he has nothing else. Both women that he's talking to can provide way more than he ever could provide his own children. And that's ultimately why he's mad and jealous because they have way more than he could ever have he's never been able to build anything for himself and at the end of the day he's embarrassed he hates Mel because Mel has been able to elevate without him even though he's tried to convince everyone that he made her yet he can't make himself and he can't make the cold sore on the side of his lip that he had a baby out of wetlock with all of this is really absolutely ridiculous martel is delusional and he thinks that he is smart he thinks that he has dug this hole for melody when actually he's dug a hole so big it's going to be able to fit the entire holes y'all get in the comments let me know what y'all think about all of this don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that i upload I never called the police on you, but now I will. It's on you. See you in prison. Guess what, bitch? See you in jail, bitch. Let me tell you something. Get this bitch out of here. That bitch is going down. Guess what, bitch? Lock his ass up. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Lock his ass up. Lock his, lock his ass up. You're going to jail. picture you know i'm saying like like stop all that fucking bullying me and all this kind of stuff and and i sent her a picture um and and <laughs> so i sent her a picture and on the um on the um document it says seemingly sexual seemingly sexual because whatever it was i marked it out and i deleted it out my phone right so i don't know exactly what picture so i want to i want to know what picture it is so um and and that was it. Does this have anything to do with what Carson Blue said about 
Oh, sex tape? It, yeah. it ain't no sex tape. Of Arion sucking your dick. Because we want to know. Arion. Uh, not Arion, I'm sorry. Melody. Yeah, That's no. your wine, so, by the way. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a 13%. But. 13.5. 13.5. So, and it's it's really good. I'm going to be honest with you because I don't, like, I'm very selective about my wine. So, you really did good with this. I appreciate this. So, <clears> no. <throat> it's, so, it's, it's no sex tape. Um, so what So nobody what, got a sex tape of yeah, your Ain't nobody wife seen no sex tape of Melody giving doing Giving you head No And you claim No The reason for some of y'all issues in y'all marriage is because she wouldn't give you head Yeah, no, that So wouldn't. to have a video like that, that's kind of gold Yeah, but no <laughs> Proof of life <laughs> No So, you know, because I know Arian had mentioned too um, about her knowing something. No, she had went into my phone and saw and saw that picture, and that's why I, I deleted it at that time. You know, but so it, it wasn't got, it wasn't no video. Does Arion have that picture? Did no, she hell take it? no, no, okay. no. She ain't Arion. I know she probably would have put that shit. She would have put that shit out right. Yeah, I pull up Roto Windows on it. I pull up Roto Windows on it. Yeah, I pull up Roto Windows on it. Oh, it's not in the case of anybody. That's why I'm fine. I spend my life.